Glam Fam, so today I'm going to be showing you how to apply liquid lipstick like I do on some of my clients if they request one. Um, a lot of people have been requesting this video because some people, you know, think that liquid lipsticks, they dry too fast, they can't get a crisp line, it's just... It takes some practice and I am here to give you my tips and tricks on how to get that flawless liquid lipstick look. As always, before your liquid lipstick, prep is key. Always, always prep and moisturize your lips before you do a liquid lipstick. Otherwise, it's going to just accentuate any dryness that you have on your lips and also be more patchy because your lips are just not a good base for liquid lipstick yet. So to do this, all I do is wash my lips, I exfoliate them. I really like Lush's Mint Julep Lip Scrub. They're one of my favorites. Or you can just make your own by mixing coconut oil and sugar at a room temperature so that it's more of a paste instead of a liquid and apply that as a scrub and then wipe it off. I really recommend doing your liquid lipstick last because after the scrub I like to apply some kind of heavy moisturizer to my lip. I actually really like to use Aquaphor's um, healing ointment. This stuff does a really good job at hydrating your lips and I just leave it on while I'm doing the rest of my face and then when I get ready to do my lips I just wipe it off with a tissue or something, paper towel, anything. So I do have some on my lips right now so I'm gonna take some of that off right now pause really quick please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there it's red and it's free and you'll never miss another one of my videos like this and yeah all right so now that I have everything off my lips I am gonna be going in with unicorn blood by Jeffree Star this is one of my favorite dark dark red lipsticks and it's almost kind of brownie, and I love that, and it matches my eye makeup really, really well too, which was also done by the Jeffree Star palette. If you guys want to see this makeup, I already did a tutorial up. It's either after this one or before it, whichever one. So I hope you guys will go check that out too. All right, in my opinion, I like to apply liquid lipsticks with a brush because a good brush, this is Sephora's lip, Pro Lip Brush and this is such a good lip brush. It's it's just like my go-to. I have three of these for my makeup kit. I personally like to apply liquid lipsticks with a brush instead of the wand. You can also use the wand if you want. After you kind of outline your lips with the brush, I go in with the wand anyway. So it just depends on what you're comfortable with. So what I do is I take some out and I put some on the back of my hand like that. And then I get a mirror, like so. I start to outline my lips. Now, it's up to you if you want to overline or underline anything, whatever you feel comfortable with, that's what you're gonna stick with. What I do first is I just get some of the excess off on the bottom of my lip. And then I like to take the brush and go to my cupid's bow. What I do is make an X so that I know my cupid's bow is going to be even. Once I feel like that is even, then I move on to the rest of my lip, and I am just going to drag down to the point in my mouth. Very slowly is the key here for crisp lines. You. 
if you mess up like I did a little bit right here, it's okay. You want it to dry and try and cover it up instead of covering up while it's wet and it smears and just wait for it to dry if you mess up. See what I just did there? Try not to do that. I know a lot of people smack their lips, but when you're applying a liquid lipstick, it's actually better not to smack your lips because sometimes if we work a little bit slower, the, liquid's li the liquid lipstick will dry and any dry surfaces rubbing against each other aren't going to like each other. So remember to try and not rub your lips together. What you can do is go back in with your wand and just do a light second coat everywhere, but avoid, avoid the outsides of your lips so you don't mess up your lines. Just like that. Now you're going to let this dry completely and then we will work on the cleanup process. Once again, before I forget to mention, if you are a beginner with liquid lipsticks, you're going to probably want to get a lip brush because it is easier to get crisp lines and more control over the product with a brush. Once you get the hang of it and you're more comfortable with the formula, the texture it leaves, the way it goes on, then you can start to just apply with the wand that comes with it, if it's a good wand. Jeffree Star's wand is very good. Um, then you can just apply it with the wand. And always remember, the more practice you have, the faster it will get. When I first started using liquid lipsticks, it probably, good, it probably took me a good five, ten minutes to get my lips perfect. And now I can do it with the wand in probably about two minutes three, somewhere around there. The more you do it, repetition, more practice, it gets faster, it gets better. It just don't give up on the first or second or third or even tenth try. Just keep going and you'll get better at it. All right, my lips are now dry and we are gonna go in and conceal. Now, concealing, everyone does it a little bit different. I like to take mine out of the concealer and put it on my hand and again, use a brush because I have more control. Um, some people like to go in with just the wand and do it. I find that a little bit more messy and less control and then you get those, you know, like outlines where you have a halo of concealer around your lips. It happens with eyebrows too. I just don't like that effect. So what I do is I put it onto my hand once again after I took my liquid lipstick off. All right, so the concealer brush that I'm gonna be using looks like this. It's just a um, it's the brush that came in my face painting kit of Mehran and I freaking love this for a concealer brush. It comes to such a like such a point, but and yet it's still really movable. So what you're gonna do is you can put some on your brush, wipe it back off on your hand on both sides, and then go in because you don't want a lot of product when you're going in to fix your lips. And then what I like to do is when I go in. I like to press out where I need to fix with my tongue and that helps pull everything taut where you can see exactly where you messed up. And then before you move on to a different spot, blend it out with your beauty blender. Or your finger is just as good as well. Just to make sure you don't have that halo, I like to go in with a little bit of powder on the point of my beauty blender. And then just go around where you put that powder, but not by your lips because powder 
will easily move really fast and then you just will have a powdery lip. So stay a little bit away from your line, but still go around your lips. All right, this is what it looks like. It's very crisp and very smooth, non-patchy. Let me get, zoom you guys in. So like I said, I love the way liquid lipsticks lay on your lips and dry. And once they're on, they're on for good, which I love. That is it for this liquid lipsticks how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it and at least learned one thing. If you did, please let me know what that one thing was in the comments below. Also in the comments below, let me know what your favorite liquid lipsticks are, whether it be drugstore or high-end, because I am going to be doing a battle of the liquid lipsticks video sometime in the future. I have about six or seven different brands right now and I kind of want to get to like the 10 or 10 more range to have a really good range of high and, and drugstore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Beauty by Josie K. I put out videos every single week. And I also have a Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and what am I missing? Periscope. And they're also at Beauty by Josie K. I do a lot of my talking to you guys over on those platforms, so you can go follow me if you want over there. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next tutorial. I love y'all. Bye.